All right, now, even though, <laughs> yes, like I said, like I said before I started this, I flipped a coin for to put this on my second channel, which, well, the room storage on Streamyard, um, it's it's kind of almost getting a little bit too close, so maybe I just might do that to to build up some more room. Hmm. Unless there's a way you can delete like. Because uh, on my side of my stream yard, you can like delete like uh, projects of like live streams, and I think that might kind of save it up. Hopefully, that, that's what I just said. Like, yes, deleting past streams and then just and 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 also just re-uploading them as as videos. That's that's what I really do like all the time. Yeah, yeah. But but yes. Um. So even though I did not put a significant number for this occasion, I I put this as a quote-unquote album because this is um this uh, this alludes to many different nostalgic commercials tv spots movies games books even from other people's videos like like way back it, it just depending on how well well you know not to be um copyrighted so to speak yeah yeah and i think what to start off is the opening uh, uh like not opening scene but like opening intro for Spongebob Squarepants movie. Uh, well, well, well yeah, sure, sure, uh, a, a little bit. Uh, let's, let's see. It's like one of the best Nickelodeon intros they've done. I just wish they brought that back. Well, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, I'm here. I mean, but well, the many, well, many things when it comes to movie studios is how they manage to just try to do something different with it. That's that's what I like. Very yeah, nice. based on the theme of the movie, like of course, for uh, example, uh, for the Special Scrimmage movie, they add like a uh, uh, oceany, bubbly type of thing deal, and with the music, oh, it's just so good. Yeah, just to start off. <laughs> Uh, you can't get like that anymore. I just got hit with a nostalgic man. Of course, yes, during the time when we did do like the Spongebob movie, like I just, well, yeah, it was during that time where I was just starting to have some. And I have another one in thought. I know you and Blitz uh, reacted to uh, Boomerang commercials. Well, well yes, and, 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 and the deal with... And yeah, even though I have many different commercials here, I just I just only did it for just for the feels, not to just uh, not to be like, oh, this is taking too long and stuff. But no, it, it's just some important stuff. I just, you're, but yes. Well, I mean, I understand the feels. I mean, of course, I used to watch those boomerang commercials back then when, of course, they used to show that. But of course. I don't know what year they even updated it to like have their own original idea, but I just I prefer like when they show like old cartoons and like old like filters and stuff. That's what I preferred. Yes. <clears throat> oh. When I could have sworn that it's over here because this is where the majority of stuff that I remember most from my childhood. But uh, let's see promos. Well, let's find out. This is yes. Boomerang from, from, Cartoon. from Cartoon Network. And they did it so good, too. They put a lot of work and effort to do these back then. Of course. Oh, and here's one that Blitz enjoyed, the Smurfs one. I can't really play Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I was waiting for that, because... Uh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna make sure that we do get you some of the good ones. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is Smurf Country. Welcome to the land of Smurfs. Where young Smurfs grow up to lead happy, healthy, and enjoying themselves. And here comes Fat Albert Smurf. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I knew you liked that. I was saving it for this special occasion. Almost normal. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I found over Smurf. <laughs> Who wants to play? This is the one. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Josie and the Pussycats? Yeah. Even, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought they looked really, really nice. Boomerang. I never saw the show, but, um, when I saw them on here, I was like, oh, no. Well, I didn't see the show either, but I did, like, um, the song they did. Um, there are, like, two different versions, too. Like, there's, like, a one from, uh, by their version, and there's, like, a update version where it's, like, rock and roll and stuff. I, if I remember correctly. Uh, this right here. Every time when I used to watch the Titans on Boomerang, this is Used to call it Boomeraction. Boomeraction, I love it. You're watching Secret Squirrel on Boomerang from Cartoon Network. His lab to the public, and you've got a front row seat. Stay on your best behavior, and whatever you do, don't push any buttons. Welcome to Dexter's Laboratory on Boomerang. Also, why about you, her pigtail? I don't know. I mean, like, uh, even though I did we'll watch return to little, Dexter's lab a lot. on Boomerang. Mm. We now return to Dexter's laboratory on Boomerang. All right, ball bouncing ball. <laughs> They don't do that anymore. Well, yeah, this isn't the 60s anymore. Oh, I meant the bouncy ball thing. Yeah, I was making a joke. Room you now. Come on, Scooby Doo. I see you. A tiny guy, sliver. You're not fooling me because I can't see the way you shake and shiver. You know, we yeah, got, I got a mystery to solve. It's gonna be do ready for yeah. your act. Don't, Don't hold, hold back. back. It's gonna do if you come through or get yourself a Scooby it's snack. That's a fact. <laughs> uh, you know, I just got chills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, like same, well, like same here. I'm sure, pretty sure, uh, children had chills when they saw Charlie the freaking robot. This was. I know. Well, I, I guess it kind of creepy on this kid, but it doesn't anymore. But I get why. But yeah, it's just like the fact that Charlie is a little robot and not um, a person in a costume. That just uh, says something. <laughs> Oh, I bet a lot of like kids might say that one of the scariest to them may be the space kook. Yeah, yes, that's what they, that's what they did say too, right? Yeah. Anyway, Scooby Dooby Doo, here are you, ready and you're willing, cause can on you, Scooby Doo, with no catch the villain, yeah. Ah, that feels good. Mystery Ink Gang may look like a group of crazy kids and a dog. Who gets the combination sausage, anchovy, pepperoni with the chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream? <laughs> That's us. Yes, Who don't have a clue? Hey, my glasses! Or do they? This earring resembles the one the gypsy fortune teller was wearing. Negative. Torn up negative. Somebody doesn't want somebody to see a picture of somebody. <laughs> this mask will give you all the evidence you need, Inspector Lou. Now things are beginning to make a little sense. <laughs> <laughs> 
And if they're afraid of clowns, they'll be afraid of this guy. Yo! I've been voodooed! Now you can see more of Scooby-Doo on Boomerang from Cartoon Network. It's all coming back to you. Oh, yeah. Every, every time you saw these, would you want a toy of that? Uh, not not really. I mean, well, y yes and no. Yes, because it would look cool, and no, because, well, just, man, I, like, I don't know. It just kind of looks cool to just look at. Uh, it's understandable. I mean, if you did have it, I mean, of course, you can have it as a collectible. Right, yes, you're not wrong, because I used to collect animal toys until I got too obsessed with my iPad and then just had to give them away. Yikes. Boy, do we know how to bust Monte Carlo and to never be blue. It's a lot like friends, just keep a saying, yabba dabba 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 do. Oh, I remember this. Yes. We can give you a clue. There's no need for cry and roar like a lion. And yabba dabba 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 do. B A D B A means bad. B A B B A means good. Oh, what magic in a word we found by switching the letters around. So if someday the faces. I wonder who that guy was. On you. I, I figured too. Like one or two. Yabba dabba dabba. It must have been some kind of um, famous celebrity because the way he's like um, drawn, it might have been like based on whoever sang that. But dang, he sang good. Yes. <laughs> of course, make a piano turn to a suitcase. That's cartoon logic. Boomerang from Cartoon Network. <laughs> I do remember this where it showed um, that horse guy and his uh, sidekick and there's this criminal that is like uh, dressed up as a baby and um, he kept complaining that um, I think he should stop smoking and uh, the horse guy said something else I can't remember what it was. Agile and resilient, he faces danger head on. Taking any matter of blows like a true competitor, be they golf balls to the teeth. Here it comes! And. Oh, I thought it was going to show that. Never mind. Witty and quick, he's nobody's fool. Jerry would rather use his charm and pleasant demeanor to gain allies or lure a feline foe into his trap. But if it must come to blows. Jerry is also quite handy with a branding iron for short piece of pipe. Now, see more of your favorites, Tom and Jerry, on Boomerang from Cartoon Network. It's all coming back to you. Mm, what, let's see, where, where else? Where else? Where else? Ah. I mean, like, well, 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 there was that one Popeye one. I was about to say that. Did you read my mind? Uh, probably because that that's the same thing that Blitz had. Like he just he 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 just like flipped out when he saw this. Dude. I mean, it's a classic. I just wish I saw that episode back on Boomerang. What's all that racket? Are your boys supposed to be asleep? Yeah, you're asleep. Sure, sure. All right, good night now. Da -da 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 what? Go sleep. Oh, man. Okay, what's another? Oh, yeah. Um, How about Carmen San Diego? Uh, well, let's see. I guess we can throw around some intros here, but let's see. The last time, though. Oh, wait. Yeah, I wasn't too keen of the Netflix reboot. Hmm. Well, well, neither, well, neither was I. Okay, so I think we're fine. 
And here comes Squidward. I still can't get that over my head, the fact that I didn't realize that that was uh, his voice actor the whole time. Well, I was shocked. Uh, it is Carmen San Diego, Carmen San Diego, where on the earth can be where it is Carmen San Diego, la 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 la. I think on our next list for ornamental, I think uh, you should do Carmen San Diego. Okay, even though I don't really know the show that much, but I can tell that she can probably be one of those, uh, one of those sneaky type of female villains, kind of like mm -hmm. I would guess Catwoman. I think, or I think I think I could come up with something. All right, but. Yeah. Also, let's see. What's another good one that we could do? Hmm. Maybe look some look at like Cartoon Network commercials. I mean, like I have a whole bunch of commercials here, and <laughs> you'd be surprised about it. It was so very satisfying to get every single freaking th uh, thought that I could think of in in here. It was. It's 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 a it's a beautiful thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we, we have to. Uh, yes, uh, we we will get to them eventually if we can, but only have until about two or three. And so, so yeah, we got enough time. Okay. So, uh, so because this is this is special. This is very very special. Uh. Close. One of them had something I remember from a while ago. As he uh, see over there. Well, let's uh, let, let's let's see. Let's try again. Friday night is about to get chilly. The Saturdays gear up for a stone cold showdown. Those winds must be over 50 miles per hour. The airship can't take much more of this. Deep inside an ice cave, a nasty wolf pack is ready to pounce. And guess who's behind it all? Dan Rook and a sidekick? Find out in an all new episode of The Secret Saturdays. Friday night at 8. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe we could uh, because I was just waiting for the awesome stuff. But I guess I just went, went, was a little too excited. Oh, and and, and oh, but wait, but there was this. Like this was one of the biggest things from a uh, fusion fall. The future is interactive. Game art is the future. Across the universe, a battle rages. Young people are joining up to fight for our future. We have the tools, you have the talent. These evil mimics must be stopped. Victory is possible through teamwork, courage, and intelligence. But you won't have to do it alone. You'll have the finest weapons and the latest technology. It's Cartoon Network's biggest game ever. So log on, load up, and get ready for action. The time is now. The hero is you. Fusion Fall. Log on for another sneak peek December 27th, only on FusionFall.com. Rated everyone, 10 and up. You're in ice, and your friends are in for a cool surprise. Free! Destroyer. Get ready for the ant bully with the flicks. The ant Man, the flicks were good back then. 
Hello. But here's the thing, though. It was very stupid of them to just always post, like, host them every Sunday night because who would want to see a movie on Sunday when you got, like, school the next day? This was during, like... Exactly. Like, of course, you get home from church or whatever you're doing on Sunday, and then, like, it doesn't make sense. But, I mean, if I were them, I would post it, like, every weekday or every Saturday night. Exactly. Like... I don't know. There's anything wrong with the old ones? Not your boyfriend. Just these episodes are new. And maybe the average 22 minutes. Two and two. If you don't count commercials, girl. No, you're not a sellout. Chowder, season two, new episodes. Thursdays at eight. Only our Cartoon Network. Her, 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 Thursdays. And believe it or not, I don't know what episode of Five check it is, but uh, they actually referenced Hard Hard Thursdays, and Captain Knuckles actually said it. Yeah, that was the episode where like uh, Bubby met this other whale that turns out to be just really, really bad. Really? Uh, so yeah, I was curious about that, and like why that whale had a lot of like stitches and stuff or scars. Well, yes, evil. Uh, back then, when you can use tokens to play Chuck E. Cheese, but now you have to swipe cards to play it. What a darn shame. And I mean that, really. I know. And, um, I don't know if that is true, that I think they took down the animatronics. Oh, I'm like... New episode Thursday. Total Drama Island. For the bats to win at dodgeball, they'll need Duncan to stay alert and aggressive. But most of all, they'll need him to stay away. Wake me up, and it'll be the last thing you do. Total Drama Island. New episode Thursday. Also, um, I guess it will make sense for them to watch it like at seven or eight at night, but of course they won't stay long enough like at nine because they have to go to bed because that's their kid the kid's curfew for going to school. Well, at least for like some of them. It, it... Ah, clever. Then let them share it. To honor the release of DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda, rated PG, a toy of heroic proportions, is in every McDonald's <sighs> meal. That was awesome. <laughs> That's Inspector Nelson. Let's see where, where else? Any, anything else? Oh yes. With one of the summer's biggest heroes, Disney Pixar's Wally, rated G, not Friday. Only you can save Gotham City. Whoa! Mega King. Uh huh. Wow. Turn your belt into a motorized rapid fire launcher and take out Gotham City's biggest bad guy, the Joker. Can you be the ultimate Batman? Mega Cape accessory, rapid fire utility belt. That is pretty dope. <laughs> Dang straight. Took me forever to find it, the old one. I see you already did yeah, already did that. And the and the stupidest thing about most of these commercials is how much they repeat. It's like, yes, we get it. Just show us something new. I know. Like if if you had like direct TV, they like show like the same commercials like every day, one or twice or th three times. It it gets old. Uh, uh, let's see. Wait, is there I think there's something else that we forgot to do? I mean, I know you're trying to like um, promote these products or whatever and shows, but we get it. But just show something different. Like it can't just show every single same thing each time. Uh, that's the problem with me. <laughs> I mean, but uh, of course, like oh, oh wait, what, what was one thing? Yes, cart like Cartoon Network. They used to do that too with Cartoon Theater and showing this Craig the Creek. Or like bullying commercial, like they used to do. They repeated that every freaking night. I remember. Man, 
Right now, Planet Fitness. Get that big fitness energy for just $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Bill ends April 5th. I'm off to market, and then I'll have plenty of time to get ready for the festival. Oh, this is promoting uh, Dizzy Tangers, isn't it? Yep. Don't go anywhere. Cartoon Network's Movie Madness will continue after this. Ah, oh, yes, the classic laughter promo from on a very special Thursday night. Wait, is this what I think it is? You need to learn how to laugh at yourself. Everyone learns that laughter <laughs> leaves the soul yearning yeah. for more. <laughs> Thursday night. Thursday night starting at eight. It's perfect. Special, right? Uh, like, what were you trying to like remember? Uh, well, I thought it was the one I was thinking of where uh, some stock sound was like, ha, 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 something like that. But uh, I was wrong. But Let's see. pretty neat. Anyway, oh, let's see. Let's see. Right, the old, cl the classic old freaking flapjack commercial uh, or promo that made me fall in love with the show. All right. The world of Storm along a place where only the toughest this looks like a new plot for Pirates of the Caribbean. Hi, friend. Want to have some adventures? Flapjack is ready to take on the world, and he's bringing a few friends along for the ride. Yeah! The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, premiering Thursday, June 5th at 8.30. And yet to this day, I've always wanted to know what freaking music that was, because it sounded so awesome. Hmm. Uh, but, but I gave up. And let's see. And, let's see. I'm not anywhere else on this. Let's see. Uh, move, moving on. Coming up next, yeah. it's Scary Godmother 2, The Revenge of Jimmy on Cartoon Network. Uh, yes, I remember Scary Godmother. So do so do I. I mean, do but I, I was shocked to find out that one of my favorite voice actors, Tim the St. Germain, is in this film. And I was shocked to know that, Gar that G Gary Chalk was in that too. <laughs> What was your favorite character in the film? Unless you remember some of the characters. Uh, well, I guess I just even though it was, uh, I think I saw it like twice. So I guess Scary Godmother herself. Hey, there's spectrobes. I used to have that on Wii, but I get away because I I it was too hard for me. But it was a pretty cool game. It's like, uh, it was like Pokemon or Digimon uh, come together, but it was still pretty neat. And I found out like the main character, that guy right there on the box art, that's Yuri Lowenthal was in him. Oh, nice. Mm hmm And I was like, wait, uh, is that Ben's voice I hear? And I was like, oh, man, that's Yuri Lowenthal. So, yeah, that's where I discovered that. And, yeah. But I still respect it, even though I'm no longer playing it anymore. But, continue. Are in trouble. Diego will be there in the Animal Rescue Railway. Coming through. Diego, look, there are animals in danger. Oh, let's get them to the rescue. With a new twist on tracks, Diego can weave toward the mountain rescue. All aboard. And wind his way to the cave rescue. Todos a bordo. Way to go, Diego. The Diego Animal Rescue Railway comes with all this. Other playsets and vehicles sold separately. Oh, wait. Or I could have just gone with the... Oh, why did I do that? Of, unless, of course, if I had... Uh, well, let's, well, let's, try, let's test it out, uh, even though it's... Uh... Up next, it's Total Drama Action on Cartoon Network. Oh, by the way, when I saw the new trailer for the new Total Drama series, they have a new voice actor for Chris. Right. I, I think I saw I think I read something about that too. Coming up next, it's what's new Scooby Doo on Cartoon Network. Coming up next, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Five D's. Oh, I grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh! Five D's. It's, mm. it's like uh basically how I got used to Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh field fun fest on Cartoon Network. Yeah, for me, in my opinion. Wait, 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 uh, wait, go ahead. No 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 go you ahead. Go ahead. 
You go ahead. Yeah, I, I got I'm a point. Go ahead. Like for me, it was like the CW for kids. Makes sense. Teen Titans, Trouble in Tokyo. And what's awesome about this that um, Will Arnett and Greg Sipes both did the announcements for this. <laughs> this is a, that was actually satisfying. So is everything, because when I saw this, it was like one of the coolest things I ever saw from Cartoon Network as a whole. I know, and this was in like in the early 2000s, and they still did it really good. Coming up next, it's Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Battle Dimension on Cartoon Network. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I had a reason why I put this one on. It's because of this one joke. Oh my god, look! <laughs> hey, Gwen, Gwen, Gwen! I mean, they obviously knew what they were doing. <laughs> Right, so that was the reason I put it on here. Techno theme for um the finish theme. That's a cool detail. Yeah. Uh, the Halloween promos. So cool. I mean bumpers. Well, that's still um uh, same thing. No, it's not. Boom. 
Have you tried bobbing for apples? Mm, no, not not really. You? Nah. And because the reason why is because, well, uh, mostly I just didn't really like red apples back then. But now I was like, eh, they're all right, but I just prefer green. Okay. And <laughs> imagine if you bought your apples, a uh, snippy pops out. Uh, oh, right, right. Yeah, you referenced the freaking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Let's see. Break, break it, break it away from commercials, and just pick up with some other notable, other notable stuff, such as. Drum roll, please. Only network for I have no idea what you're saying. Okay. It's great to be back. Yeah, could say better myself. One of the many moments that uh, there are like there are projects that I didn't recognize. Oh well, 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 neither did I at the time. And, and, but when I, but when I did get a chance, oh man, it was so worth it. Of course, there is this. Let's see how is it going so far. Ah, oh, right. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, dudes. Hello. Oh, you. You read my mind again. I had to do it. Thank you. Of course. That's why we're here. I see in this. I see in this. Burn with cheese. Here goes this Alright, TD, uh, it's our biggest hit. Boom! I love it. Are you seeing this? Yes! yes. Are you seeing this? Yes. Mm hmm. You are here. Batman, Benton, Alien Force, and the Secret Side Ace keep us on course. Saving the world. I'm trying not to hurl. I want the Skywalker, General Grievous, and the Skywalker. I messed that up. Crap. Star Wars, the Clone Wars, the Highly Enforced. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Hi. It is a blessing. Uh, let's see. Oh yes. After before I even saw I'm um, like up in 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 the, in the movies. It, it's this. Ooh, boy. And you know that project that short's coming up as called A Carl's Date? 
Oh yeah, I I, I do. Uh, a uh, turn and and a chance access. I uh, like uh, post like a premiere of it, like um, cause uh, I think this is gonna be Ed as his last role, cause he uh probably recorded this before he died shortly after. That's what well, they that's, meant. That's what that's what it said. I mean, like yeah, it was like if you say is, you might say that he's like still here, but he, he's mm. not. But but yeah, it was he. He he what he is he was and still is a good man. Of course. Adventures with Carl and Russell. That was a Bengal tiger. I did that one to get my animal calling back. That's great, Russell. I'm really good. <laughs> Annoying. No, the puma. I know all kinds of calls. Hee haw! Mugwai? Mugwai? Did he mugwai? Pop, um, like I don't know. It's supposed to be some kind of parrot. Was that one? That actually sounded pretty good. That wasn't me. You got a runaway in terror badge. No. Disney Pixar's is a. Wait. If he posted. And you, you don't think... Oh, come on. Alright, let's just do it. Yes! Something big is coming. <gasps> and it's in 3D. It really works! We are about to be in the epicenter of a perfect food storm. I've got to stop the machine. The fate of the world depends on me. No big deal. I'm surrounded by man-eating chickens. I think they're kind of cute. <laughs> Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Made of PG. 3D. And IMAX 3D. Join me. Whoa. On September 18th. Jello. Taste the adventure. Belly fly. Why did I do that? Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Made of PG. In 3D and IMAX 3D. On January 5th. Get ready for a twisted up mamma mia high stakes meat flat <laughs> and of course when I did see the first trailer way way back it took me forever to know that the song playing dur during the trailer was food glorious food oh wow yeah, yeah I was <laughs> like hey I say too <laughs> wow, of course they would uh, <laughs> uh, add that because why not? Food related. Oh, also, have you noticed, you know, that scene where the pie hits the president, but uh, one pie hits Abraham back of the head? Of course, that's hinting that's how he got killed. Yes, that was that was a dark joke. Yeah, but I mean, I get what they're going for, but I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that they did way worse. Like, uh, oh, I mean, like, well, not as worse as like Flint Lockwood going a little bit too far with snowballs, like breaking into people's house and doing that. that oh, was yeah. I mean, that's a bit overkill. I mean, they might have, I don't know, like praying to God or watching nice TV. And then some random guy with an ice cream snowball is like, here, have this. And they're in the hospital and he's going to get sued. On July 1st, Kibasa! break the ice. Oh, not good. And enter a whole new world. Yeah. Tourists with new friends. This is my kind of place. I've never flown one of these before. Last time, actually. In a whole new adventure in 3D. I'm a mommy. Yeah. I say, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Spit out little Johnny. That's not little Johnny. Well, better than nothing. Rated PG. And there was the second to last good Ice Age movie up until, well, the fourth. I mean, um, Ice Age 4 was pretty good, and I sort of liked um, the fifth one. Well, yeah, that's why that's why I, that's why I said like like the third was second to last, and the fourth one was was the good was good one. I didn't like the fourth one at all. I mean, fifth. I didn't like the fifth. One. Well, the I the animation was pretty good. Yeah, but just but yeah, but it just 
it just wasn't good for me. It was just boring. Yeah, I get what you're going for. Like, um, because, like, I think they're doing, like, way over the top. I think they're just trying to do that to end the series, if you know what I mean. No, no, they're just basically just running out of ideas. I mean, yeah. just doing, just, doing just, just a cliche, just every teenage cliche, like the father not appreciating his daughter's, you know, supposed um, husband to be. And, and well, like, not really, not everyone has so much to do, like with Diego and, and Shira, like them um, thinking that they could be like ha have kids, but that doesn't go anywhere. It's just not giving p characters purpose. They're just there. That's that's what. Yeah, it and not much like screen time or like voice lines, whatever. So that just still makes sense. Also, I'll be right back. I gotta check my worker, but I'll be back soon. Okay. Oh, there, there was the one that I was trying to look for. And you know what? How about I do that when I got when I got enough, if I have enough enough time? See? Uh, yes, one of the many awesome treasures that I was lucky to find once again, and well, it really did pay off. Mm -hmm. And one of the many things, of course, awesome with having a photographic memory is you could probably just remember exactly what they said. And I can and and, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do just that to test it out. I don't know, Kyle. Did you ask Mr. Hats? I know what I asked Mr. Hat. I'm asking you. Oh, I think you should ask Mr. Hat. Mr. Hat, man, please be excused from class. Well, Kyle. No! You hear me? You go to heck. You go to heck and you die. Hmm. Just have to take your seat, Kyle. Take it! Ha <laughs> ha! Mr. Hat yelled at you. And, and where are you from, Damien? The seventh floor of hell. Oh, that's fine. My my mom was from Alabama. And like, why don't you go back to the indoor, you stupid Wookiee? Wookiee don't live on indoor. <laughs> and then, you guys are my best friends. You think it then? We've always been together. We're four for kind, having fun all day. Pound around and laughed away. Just best friends. Best friends are we. I love you guys. And of course, blitz like this one. I would never let a woman kick my A. If she tried anything, I'd be like, get your back in the kitchen. The mom's a B. The movie is better. Yeah, whatever, you fat B. What did I'm you back. Say? Oh, wait, what, what was I going to go for? Uh, oh, I'm like, this was What was that? No, I was just yawning. Uh, see, I'm all over the place with the volume. It, it can't get it, it. I believe that there are still mysteries in the world, and wonders, and surprises. I believe that fun is a renewable resource. Something we'll never be able to download. I believe that when we celebrate life in creatures big and small, we discover connections that stay with us forever.
Discover a place where worlds connect. See Harry Bandit Sea World? Nah, not really. Hmm. You? No. Didn't have the money for. And well, didn't really go to SeaWorld because during the time I was kind of, yeah, I was kind of a little bit, you know, I have this thing when it comes to whales about like, I, did, I was kind of a little bit afraid of them. I see. Is that Mega Boali? Yes. Oh my god! I didn't know she did an Eminem commercial. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's all because of Will Grace is how it got induced to her. Right? It's because of this commercial that I found out about her. <laughs> wow. Just wow. All right. During the whole freaking the last year that made that I was a hundred percent happy, two thousand four with Nickelodeon during summertime. This was oh dang! This was a song. Pretty good. Uh, and and of course, like this was. <laughs> uh, no, maybe I should. Maybe I should. You know. Uh, oh, right. So, uh, during the time when Alvin and the Chipmunks was uh, coming out, there was also this. <laughs> Oh, this commercial about their, them covering various songs. All right. Although I should have played the TV spots, but that's all right. We'll get there. Oh, man. Back when I had that. All of the classics are here, plus new songs to rock out to. Monk around with the Alvin and the Chipmunk soundtrack. Wait, that's that's it? I could have sworn that there was like more, but yeah. but but any but anywho. About to go wow wow well, to go wow wow. Well. Rare. Ah! Uh, I'm like the dude could have worked a little bit more on the volume, but. Uh... Well, because he had it on, of course, that app I used to have. Of course, I'm not using it anymore. Can't talk. Then, yeah. Words are coming out. You can get mocked with Alvin. Your kung fu is no match for my rocket. <laughs> Simon. And of course, I wasn't old enough to understand, but when I got old enough, I found out uh, when um, Simon and Theodore Drudge and starts, it was a reference to The Matrix. Yes. <laughs> Let's see, one for me, uh, just from how cool it sounded. Oh, yeah, boy, let's 
Does your dick cat sound cool? Uh, a... oh, you must be the Spitzes. Yes. yes. Your reputation precedes you. There you go. Well, thank you. Not in a positive. Oh, oh yeah. I remember I've seen this on Instagram. I am abomination. Oh, I'm the Hulk. I'm so sad. I don't know how to defend myself. Oh, my Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> right now at Burger King, you can have all six incredible Hulk toys, one for kids meal. Incredible Hulk toys. Just, I always die at the Hulk's face. It was just priceless. He's like, dude, what's wrong with you? I'm not even that scary. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him because, you know, I mean, he's a big dude, and of course he wars uh, ferociously, but the way he screamed, he screamed like a little girl. Of course. And now we enter in, I would say, the classic days of YouTube where I was just met, where, where I just spent all day just looking for random videos and it was like, oh, this is awesome. And this was one of the funniest. Of course, in every SpongeBob episode, there has to be a meme. Of course, this has to be one of them. Excuse me, sir. I hope my uh, ugliness doesn't uh, fetch you from the movie. Not at all, boy. I mean, but it, but it was funny. Like, I would always die laughing when I saw that. And that because of the noise, but of course, the face, too. Oh, well, yeah, of course, the face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't meant to the last part. The director of Forrest Gump and the Polar Express. What do you want with me? You will be hosted. Ah, uh, yeah, the greatest movie ever lived. Classic tale, like you've never seen it before. Haunt me no longer. <laughs> In Disney Digital 3D. Man, the animation was just so good to look at. I, I agree. When I when I do think that Jim Carrey was just the best uh, interpretation of uh, Scrooge because uh, the behind the scenes he freaking nailed that. And uh, of course, like I was lucky enough to give this a second chance and say, "Yep, this is bad ours." I know, and I'm glad I found it at Walmart during uh, Christmas time and actually finally got to see it. <laughs> Humbug. Disney's Christmas Carol, November 6th. You know that creepy old house on your block? The one you try to avoid at all costs? Get off my lawn! The one that kind of makes you feel like you're being watched? There's something wrong with that house. Well, guess what? You are. Something in the house across the street just trying to eat us. Come on in, if you dare. It's Don't miss Monster House, Sunday night at 7. Catch a flick with the flicks every Sunday night. Purdue University Global. Apply now at purdueglobal.edu. This stuntman. Can we try that again? This movie executive. This rabbit. What's up, Doc? And this duck. Guess who? Have to save the world from the 
this guy? <laughs> He's got some wascally friends, too. <laughs> Don't miss the Cartoon Network premiere of Looney Tunes back in action. Saturday night at 8. Catch up. Marshmallow Pebbles. No leading cereal has more marshmallows to rock your whole mouth. The marshmallowest part of a complete breakfast. Oh, yeah. Barney, with 64 tasty pieces on your tongue, Pebbles rocks your whole mouth. Yeah. Fruit delicious. Get to work, blockheads! <laughs> Blinstone! I think I remember this. Yeah, well, I certainly do. As with all these other three pebbles, oh, there you are. New Pebbles treats, so colorful and marshmallowy, they rock your whole mouth. New Pebbles treats. We all have taste buds, but are we using them? All of them? Mm -hmm. There is only one way to know for sure. Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles. One spoonful, and those tiny pebbles cover every single taste bud with an avalanche of awesomeness. So only pebbles rock yeah. your full mouth. Oh, yeah. A big taste and part of your complete breakfast. Fruity yeah. and Cocoa Pebbles. Those are the only ones that I remember. Up until I remember these ones. Hey, small stuff. What you got there? My gigantic fruity pebbles. Right. Inside every little pebble's flake is a great big blast of fruity pebbles taste. Mm. <gasps> pebbles! They're so cute. Oh, I remember that dude. Hey. Oh. He's as big as the taste of my post forty pebble cereal. Good you know what his hair reminds me of? That binoculars guy from Toy Story. Uh, he reminded me of Ben from Church of Planet. <laughs> yeah, he does. Even though I've never seen it, but I do recognize it. My little pebbles. <laughs> it's Coco with Walt Holder versus Fred and Barney on the big chocolatey taste of most Cocoa Pebble cereal. Part of a good breakfast. Yeah. 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 And I'll bet this inspired the WWE and Flintstones crossover. Baby. Hey, how could I be so stupid not to start off April Fool's Day with this? This is this uh, like this one right here. This one got me introduced to Jack Black during like uh, it, this thing for Nickelodeon. Best week ever. Let's see. Right around. Oh, right there. Okay. Jack, 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 Jack,
Choice Awards 2006. Saturday so that's how you got Jack, uh, just a Jack Black. Wow. That's right. And he and he hosted the uh, Kids Choice Awards. Wow. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, what the heck? Let's see. You've seen like Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Puffs and. I think I remember this too. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Tricks poop favorite cereal with new wildberry red swirls. What if tricks tasted mega fruitier? I am the great fruitini. I'll make tricks disappear by eating them. Presto fruity. New tricks? Dumb. Six yummy new colors. Fruity yellow, berry purple, tasty orange, and blue berserple, berry green, and red rooty duty. These new tricks taste mega fruity. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Part of a good breakfast. New fruitier tasting tricks. A dang long ears trying to take Easter away from Jesus. Uh, let's see. Yeah, even though it was rare, I was still happy enough to see it because <laughs> I remember when they used to put comments on this freaking video, but they took it away because reasons. But one said, I was a envied the crap out of this kid. So freaking lucky to have the coolest parents. Hey, mom, I'm home. Oh, nothing, nothing else? Hi, Billy. I had to step out, so you'll be on your own for a few hours. Cool. I don't want you to get bored or into any trouble, so I've left a few things to keep you busy. I got you some new games to try out. Whoa. I also picked up that guitar you've been wanting, so you can rock out. I baked a fresh batch of cookies. Delicious. Oh, I updated your phone plan. You've now got unlimited texting for life. And remember, don't use that new skateboard in the house unless you put on a helmet. Of course, back then, um, uh, you can have fun with a flip phone, but now there's um, touch screens, which is a lot more better. Our cable package who has uses a, a flip phone? Hey, mom, oh, oh, wait, why did I... I mean, who uses a flip phone anymore? Just try and have a good time. Wait, what the it. heck? Well, I just got um, a uh, live stream uh, notification from Blitz. Yeah, you see that too? Yeah, it says egg. Odd. Well, I... Uh, oh, 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 okay. Even though he said that he would, like, even though he did say, like, he would upload his episode until he was done volunteering, I guess just let him take his time with whatever. Our cable package has Nicktoons Network now. It's got all your favorite shows, so you could always watch that. Awesome. Nicktoons Network. Quit dreaming. Start watching. <sighs> well, let's see. Oh, oh wait, yes. Okay, since we're safe for now, um, I'll be, I'll be back. Okay. Thank you for everything, stepmother. to be made of rags. People like me always do. People like who? What are you talking about? I'm afraid that my wish is turning me into a what? It's turning me into a, a what? A wicked stepmother. What? Come on. Hmm? Oh, actually, yeah. No, no, no. I can totally see it. I'm 
Where's Mr. Violet's like, Yeah, save me! Kaboom! Really? <gasps> Is that how it happened? Hey! At McDonald's, you can get one of eight toys from The Incredibles, a new Disney presentation of a Pixar film. Hey, yeah. Yes. I was sound asleep. And Shark Boy and Lava Girl woke me up, took me outside, and blasted me away with plenty of wool. And Max and I had to kick some major evil booty. That's why I couldn't take out the trash last night. Nice try. Toys from the new movie, The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl in 3D are at McDonald's. There's one in every Happy Meal. Now what's his excuse? Yeah, these McDonald's commercials were the go back then. Man, I wish they brought that back. Uh, the farm boy. Oh, what are they? was a kid with a pet goat and what a big catastrophe because the goat gobbled up everything in sight he was a constant eating disaster he ate his mom's chair and he ate his dad's hair he even ate the cushions on the couch now all the stuff he ate made the goat feel bad so ferris came up with another plan goat you gotta eat a better diet fruit and dairy let's go try it they went to mcdonald's for a treat they had milk to drink and they had fruit to eat now goat thinks he's as strong as an ox if only we could get him to stop eating the box nah, 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 nah. <sighs> so how did it go? Uh, I was just saying, like, because it showed um, the McDonald's culture of that farm boy and his farm friends. Oh, yes, yes. yes. And, and I said, uh, man, th back then where McDonald's commercials were the goat, these commercials were the goat, like... Man, I just love those commercials. I just wish they brought that back. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. And also, I know some people might have some mix. I don't know if mix with Ronald McDonald himself, but um, like he wasn't all that bad because I do remember telling you guys that when I was in elementary school, he did come to our school to like say some stuff. And afterwards, I did say hi to him. Cool. And what do you think about um, the having milk box like being sentient in those commercials? Um, those were nostalgic too. Yeah, we we'll, we'll get to those. They kind of like reminded me of they're they're kind of like the minions in McDonald's form. Yeah, you could say that. Sure. Uh, let's see. What, what's the, what's the, what's the, oh, I, which one? Oh, right, the third. Because didn't really like the third one. Nobody does. Third one what? Oh, you know, the third Shrek movie. Oh, well, I still kind of enjoyed it. I wonder why they didn't really. Thank you. Oh, man, I miss having McDonald's uh, Happy Meals and drinking those chocolate awesome. milks. And for even more oh, fun, you can get apple slices and a mini minion of your very own. Yeah. From the new movie Despicable Me Too, rated PG in your McDonald's Happy Meal. <laughs> okay, Smurfs, we've got to hurry. Ah, uh, yes, the yes. Smurf figurines. So, take a deep breath. I <laughs> wish they had those on Amazon. Smart like milk. Yeah. Now you can sink your teeth into the smurfiest happy meal ever. You can even get a smurf of your very own. Okay, everyone. Surprise! Awesome. <laughs> 
If you've got a thirst for adventure, there's a special place to go. McDonald's. Enjoying the blockbuster taste of apples and milk has never been this thrilling. Now that there's a 3D action cup from the Lego movie. Rated PG. Oh, I'll be right back. My mom's coming, but I'll be back soon. All right. Well, that leaves more for me. Now we've got four times more items online to give you more ways to create. Only at Michaels.com. Is your dessert so boring it's left your family snoring? Not anymore. Introducing the original Chocolate Factory, the fun, easy way to turn ordinary into extraordinary desserts. Just place in store-bought chocolate, select your favorite treat, then with adult supervision, simply dip it, dug it, fill it, or pour it. Look, regular pots burn chocolate, but Chocolate Factory's double boiler is two pans in one. The bottom simmers water, while the top quickly melts chocolate into a smooth and creamy sensation. Perfect for dipping nuts, strawberries, and bananas. And look, fill the designer mold for snowmen during the holidays. Create teddy bears, seashells, lollipops, and more. You can even make a gift basket at a fraction of the price. The complete chocolate factory kit comes with everything you need, including this dipping dessert guide. That's over 90 pieces ah. for $19.95. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-592-3388 and order the chocolate factory for $19.95. Treat your family to chocolate creations. You must be 18 or older to call. Why spend a fortune for beautiful decorated cakes like these? Now you can decorate them yourself with a little help from Betty Crocker. Introducing the Betty Crocker 100-piece cake decorating kit. It's everything you need to create beautifully decorated cakes and desserts just like a professional. The secret is this unique multi-directional applicator. All you do is point and squeeze. Simply insert a disposable bag, fill it with icing, and attach the nozzle. Then select the tip you want to use. Choose the flower tip to cover your cake with beautiful flowers like this. The star tip to make striking shell borders or braided ropes. Or the petal tip to create elegant roses. Imagine being All right. able to well, I'm gonna find out for myself. accents like this. It's so easy you can make these accents with one hand. There's even a grass hair tip for unusual novelty cakes. The three-profile icing knife can be used... Well, to until I see this because this was one of the, and your one of the best commercials and was during the time where for that special it was something very and special. And I mean really special. Imagine creating these one-of-a-kind homemade cakes all by yourself. You can order and receive the Betty Crocker 100-piece decorating kit with everything you see here, plus an easy-to-use and instruction guide and a handy storage case to hold everything all for 10 oh, oh wow you'll laugh ho 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 you'll cry You'll get up and dance as you and your family share the ongoing saga of a boy and his dog. Snoopy! A dog and his dinner. I must admit, he's a very satisfying person to cook for. A girl and her football. <coughs> and a kid and his blanket. What are you going to do with it when you grow up? Maybe I'll make it into a sport coat. That's right, the gang's all here. The entire Peanuts gang in all your favorite animated Peanuts titles. Now on video at great low prices, even a grown-up can't resist. Is that right? Charlie's a big... So, they brought new Peanuts and the Peanuts characters in their most memorable classics. I decided to say a few words about the great... It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. A Charlie Brown Christmas. Happy New Year, Charlie Brown. Oh, oh my God, oh, my I Valentine, found it. Charlie Brown. And it's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. All right, everybody, listen up. And don't forget about all the other great Peanuts adventures. I can see it now. Yes, it's the very best of Peanuts, and they're priced to make you smile. Of all the Charlie Browns in the world, you're the Charlie Brownies. Collect them all now on video cassette. 
Yes. Oh, hey, Shaolin. <laughs> Almost home my foot. You don't know that you're live now? I see you saving that. Saving that. Saving. No. Yeah, now this was something from way, way back when I was living in like my third house. <laughs> and, uh, and, I, and I gotta say, this was something entirely different. It gave me Recess vibes because I was watching Recess Christmas Miracle on Third Street. It was, it just gave me that type of deal. Everything was just so different from back then. Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yeah, it also did give me some vibes from when, in, when you're in school and you're challenged to do this kind of Jeopardy stuff. <laughs> like, it was so cool to do these kind of like challenges where, I mean, that is how I remember, remember how it is. Wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what's, it, what's it called? You're not taken down.
You know the feeling. Those moments when your life changes forever. If you lost or need to update your health insurance because of a recent life change, check your eligibility at healthcare.gov. Because worrying about health coverage shouldn't hold you back as you keep moving forward. Oh, yeah, copyright agents. No, no, I'm too young to die! <sighs> How can you expect me to eat a voice as sumptuous as this? I can't eat a singer. I never could. I never will. <laughs> oh, yeah, feeding because this is April Fool's, right? That's so beautiful. What do you call that voice, little fella? Not a baritone or a tenor? It's a... Uh... Oh, I don't care. It's just you and me. Let's make music together. Let's make sweet harmony. Oh, let's make music together. Baby, you take the do, I'll take the ray. You better hang on to me. <laughs> we are birds of a feather. Okay, and even though, no, no, how, how am I going to explain this? The last was just some kid reacting to, no, for me it feels, no, no. But at least it was lucky to see it before it was gone. Wait, and wait, wait, what, what is this anyway? What layouts? No. Nobody oh. needs that. You laugh. Close. to be some kind of fairy? Of course I am. Fabulous day in the canopy, isn't it? <laughs> no worries. Uh, I'm okay. What is the 
The sea giveth crispy fish, and the earth giveth crinkled potato. Huh. Why is the Incredible Hulk green? Who put the X in the X-Men, and why the heck does Spider-Man wear those pajamas? Let's find out when me, Kevin Smith, talks to Stan Lee, the father of modern mythology, and Stan Lee's mutants, monsters, and marvels. Stan the Man Lee, co-creator of Spider-Man. I always felt I want to do Spider-Man. I thought it would be good. The Fantastic Four bunch of superheroes but i tried to make them different than the others the incredible hulk now i'm gonna make a hero out of a monster the uncanny x -Men. i'm back sorry about that no it's cool i kept myself Which busy my publisher cool what did i miss nobody knows. oh let's see i uh, see what i have here is like peanuts uh this uh, peanuts commercials let's see mario kart 3ds <laughs> I, I like check, check, check this out if you if you think you remember something like this okay like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Back then, when I actually thought the Nintendo DS was pretty interesting. <laughs> Even though I did used to have one, and it doesn't work as good. I mean, now, like, um, I mean, I know it's, like, one of the greatest gaming systems ever, but I don't want, like, um, uh, have be constantly have my head down and playing the game. That would strain my neck. Well, then why, why would you even do it, like, anyway? I mean, back then I would want it, but right now I don't want uh, Nintendo DS, so. Come on. Heading your way. Yes, 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 yes. Need a brand new set of tribes like the chilled out Frosticons, the Oven Fang Gang, and the Stretchy Flexors. Then max out on some brand new mixes. And some messed up merps. Meet more Mixels at Mixels.com. It's the fun. Which cartoon do you, do you prefer, the old one or the new one? Well, of course the old one, but the new one, uh, well, I mean, I nowadays... Yeah, the old one. see, good reason I keep it up. I'm almost... Okay, sure thing to do. Sure thing. Sorry, I, sorry. I was talking to my mom for a sec because I was in the living room putting up some chips while I was like calling on my phone. So that's why I had it on mute for a sec. Uh, it, it's fine. <sighs> oh, these. Although this version I've never seen. Oh, cool. Yeah, this was the second version. The first version was, like, very... Not very long. I first saw it when I was, like, watching Crooklyn. But, yeah. I first saw it whenever I'm watching, um... Little Rascals. Alright. And this was during a time when... Of course, yeah, like, Jurassic Park 3 was where I first saw the, this one. Hmm. I didn't know they had a different version. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that they do... And, and, like, there was one with Abba Costello and one with that was also boom, 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 boom. And, of course, like, I see those commercials, like, for example, for Robots, you know those piracy uh, commercials, like um, piracy is bad and stuff. Yes, and those, those ones. Yes. Now, now go on because it's us. It's all. It's yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. And also, oh, uh, besides that, I also show like uh, movies like um, Van Elber, Garfield, and um, thank you. 
My mom actually saw that. It was pretty good. Yeah, I was shocked. To, I was shocked to know that it, that even though I would say that is the first time that I got uh, introduced to Anna Sophia Rob, but it's funny because that's actually her first movie. Wow. And I, I was shocked to me to find out that Jeff Daniels was this movie because I got used to him and Dumb and Dumber. My brain to see my stress really? levels and everything does not sound. Mm -hmm. I'm actually so interested. Uh, see, but let's see if we're good. And yeah, I, I think we'll be fine. You want to steal a car. You want to steal a handbag. You want to steal a mobile phone. You want to steal a DVD. Buying Buy pirated, pirated films, films is stealing. Stealing is uncool. It's against. The law. Pricey, it's a crime. I did just another thing for Gumball. Remember, uh, of course, that's the first episode, the DVD, where um, Doran uh, explained that um, Pricey is stealing. Yes, I, I do. But wait, even though they were switching episodes around, even though that was my first episode, but the first ever episode, I think it was something entire, entirely different. But because this is the same thing that happened with Teen Titans, like it's either divide and conquer or uh, what was it, final exam? Because it's, it's, it's stupid. Hmm. And the first episode was oh, so I guess it. Wait. Oh, it was. Wait, this doesn't. Wow. Okay, they they even got the date wrong. Like it, it says here, like um, the first ever episode being the third released in May sixteenth of nineteen eighty one, when it was clearly in freaking two thousand eleven. That's just ridiculous. Go, 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 go. Take a frame because of Win Dixie. Don't let it get away. No. This isn't a dog. dog. It's a horse. Oh, give me my pants back. Oh, that's a wedgie. He sure loves peanut butter. Oh, that's a Take a break, Garfield. And that's a sign that the tank is full. You can't touch this. I'm a walk in the dark. Take a hey, 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 fat Albert. I'm looking for Mr. Cosby. Are you dead? Oh. I know big. I know big. And I'm you, my friend, oh, are dude. big. Why don't you take it off? I have no face. It's something strange. There's a range by these kids. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Nice meeting you. My life has been saved by the miracle. Of oh, wait, but there was this. I always. Ah, uh, yeah, I love this every time I see it on DVD. And of course, that's the one of the many stock uh, sound effects, you know, the. Ah! Of course, the audience gasp. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was like what was the first time you've ever heard that stock sound? Uh oh yes, it was from the Country Bears. Uh one of them I got just to it was right off the red nose of the movie uh, what well, that was in 1999 I think. That's where I first heard that. And also this. 
Oh. As a matter of fact, how about we look at a compilation of like stock sounds? Yeah, we might get in trouble for that. Mm. But uh, let's see. Speaking of which, I do kind of like remember somebody, <laughs> uh, somebody um, having these compilations of of the Goofy Hauler. It that that, that was oh. Cool. Yeah! Ho, 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 Speaking of Goofy, I'm actually watching an extremely Goofy movie. Oh, that, oh that's, that's great. Oh, wait. Planning to? or No, watching? I'm watching it. Uh, right, well, not right now. I was just like watching a little bit of it. Uh, call me my... Be right back. Keep it up. Oh, we'll oh, keep it up as good as we can. Yeah. Guys, beat the family. At home, he's the referee. Quiet. Get up. You soaked his underwear in meat. <laughs> Funny, but wrong. Cheaper by the dozen. They're normal kids by day, but by night, they're on a top secret mission. Ready? Let's hit it. You can catch the action. Run. You can catch the adventure. Oh, what's that movie? Okay, so, all right, so look, yeah, from Garfield, it shows, let's see, yeah, Cheaper by the Dozen, Catch That Kid, The Sandlots, and Like Mike. I never heard of Catch That Kid. Well, we'll need our buy. And look, see who that is? Yep, Lizzie Lohan. I, um, god dang it. <laughs> Lohan ah. <and> Mumi. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I, I didn't have think they uh, Lizzie Lohan. <laughs> <laughs> As I was thinking about um, Freaky Friday the other day, it just came to my mind. Really? Oops. I mean, yeah, and then during that time, she was in her teens, not, not as a little kid. That's it. <laughs> I know. And, um, of course, I got used to her and she brought Dustin, too. And, of course, I got to uh, like her as a voice actor because of Chowder and Loud House. And, and because of the, uh, she brought Dustin, too, is where I had a crush on um, Allison Stoner. Only for that reason. Yes. Maybe because uh, when she tried on that dress and had that makeup, I'm guessing that's why I had a crush on her. But I mean, yeah, I'm over that now. They've got a lifetime of adventure. <laughs> Oh, I know this song. The Sandlot. Tonight, some lucky fan will get to go one on one with Tracy Reynolds. I've got the ticket! Now, a kid with something to prove. Maybe like Mike. He looks at you, right? Is taking his game and hanging Whoa. with the big boy. Oh, I forgot Eugene Levy was in this movie. Yes, I forgot uh, what movie I got to use to this commercial. Uh, yeah, it's just it, it, it's just an opening. Like, mm. Don't believe, please. Yes, 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 the laughs are on DVD. In fact, how about I just do that? do that i know that i have some of the openings and closings but i have them separately i named it i gave it a name it was oh yeah ask 
Sherwin-Williams and save big during the March spring sale. Get 35% off paints and stains. Coming to video cassette and DVD. Charlotte's Web, one of the most beloved children's movies, based on the book by E.B. White, is now available to own on video and DVD. And look for Charlotte's Web 2, Wilbur's Great Adventure, a brand new feature-length movie, debuting only on video and DVD. I wonder who was, uh, wasn't a narrator. Well, let's see, since, since these are one of the many comments that are allowed, let's see. Let's see who it was. But I think I heard that voice b before. Like, is it? Based on the book by E. Yeah, in my opinion, it kind of almost sounds like Miriam Ross, the voice of, um, you know, SpongeBob's grandma. I always does. We've got ourselves a bogey. Visual contact now. Holy crap! Uh, nice and cheeks! Got a blast! Meet Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> He's a boy genius. Whoops. In school. What are you trying? My latest invention. He's light years ahead of the pack. The shrink ray. Will it work on your big head? <laughs> but in being cool. Bubble travel is the way of the future. He's got a little catching up to do. Nice invention, Neutron. Better luck next time. <laughs> James Isaac Neutron. <laughs> I didn't do it. Ooh, stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, that looks so wrong. I know. Like, I didn't get that as a kid, but now it's like, I mean, come on. I don't freeze that image. And I still can't believe that Kevin McRogerson, um did this just for the trailer. Uh, it sucks that he what that he, he, he didn't really hear in the movie. I know. Oh, Our parents have been kidnapped by aliens. Ah! Anywhere within radar. I Please. love that uh, tune of the ding dun 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 to design and test our fusion engines and build our fleet of interstellar warships. Any questions? If we blow you up, whatever's left of me is kicking your butt. butt. Here, we go. Here we go. Here we go. From Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon movies. Hey! Everyone. This year, get ready to blast. I may, I may be small, but I have a very big brain. You know, for a nerd, he sure comes in handy. Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. I didn't think we liked girls yet, Jim. Oh, we don't. We don't. No. Uh, okay. Not yet. No. Uh, now on video and DVD. And we're just getting started. This sponge chilling. Angelica quaking, blank defying. Now that's scary. Their two new home videos: The Rugrats Halloween on VHS and SpongeBob Halloween on VHS and DVD. <laughs> in the Rugrats Halloween, goons and goblins scare the diapers off Chucky and the babies in their search for treats in Screenland. Chicken treats? Not my thing. Give me something good to eat. In SpongeBob Halloween. Ghosts and evil doodles threaten the citizens of the King Bar. Can SpongeBob save the day? I will not let you die! And only on the SpongeBob DVD, five extra episodes of Spine Tingling Adventures for your ghoulish pleasure. Celebrate Halloween with two spectacular home videos, available wherever videos are sold. The Rugrats Halloween on VHS. Bob VHS and. <laughs> Uh, and what was the episode I forgot because um, where SpongeBob said, "I will not let you down." No, uh, that was imitation crabs. Thank you. SpongeBob's coming to video and DVD. Yo, hold 
the sponges in town. When Kenneth was told there is something to see. His body is yellow and his pants are brown. If nautical tails make you get up and dance. Jerry's a snail, not a hound. He'll be splitting your sides, he'll be splitting your pants. No hope for King Mighty Wings, but not a pound. Ahoy, mateys! SpongeBob's a-coming! Ahoy, mateys! SpongeBob's a-coming! For the first time on video and DVD, Ahoy, mateys! SpongeBob's a-coming! Ahoy, mateys! SpongeBob's a-coming! For the first time on video and DVD, it's nautical nonsense and Sponge Buddies. See SpongeBob himself in all his jellyfish and crabby patty flipping glory. What a great day. Oh, right. I forgot that you have it. And his first mate, Patrick. Full of gleeful angst. I was one of the, was one of the people. Now look at me. Candy cheeks, shiver me timbers. You don't want to mess with that glassy. Don't you Don't you dare. dare. Don't you dare. Don't you go, squirrel. Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Gary the Snail. It's the whole gang from Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob at his finest, I tell you. Nautical nonsense and sponge buddies. Two must see rip roaring epics. We here before starfish. Never before has a sponge been so absorbing. To a bikini bottom without putting on a wetsuit. Tis ten splashy episodes of SpongeBob at his swabbiest. Nautical nonsense and sponge buddies. Available now on video cassette and DVD. And just before we get into the awesomeness, I do remember, of course, uh, these two kids running around in this freaking maze. Me too. Oh, man, that was the guilt back then. Now, this is a way to start nostalgia. I mean, like, we already, I mean, like, we just been started. Like, I, I know, I just, uh, saying. Nickelodeon got better when, of course, I did get it on DVD, and it was during when I got Nick Picks Volume 4, which is the best one, in my opinion, because I still watch it to this day. I need to get more Nick Picks, because I only have Volume 1, because that's, like, what I had when I was a kid. Oh, 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 oh believe me, when you get, when you get 4, <laughs> you're going to enjoy it. But start but streamlining your production with the power of one. A little bit of a quote-unquote sneak peek, but actually a long peek. It's the Nick Picks Collection. All the Nick episodes you want to see available now on DVD. All your favorite characters in all their shapes, colors, and sizes. And all of your favorite adventures packed full of surprises. Nothing says, I want you at my party like a big footprint. Just to name a few, here's a sampling of what you'll view. SpongeBob SquarePants in fear of a Krabby Patty. The Fairly Odd Parents Information Stupor Highway. I wish I was inside the internet! And because of that, uh, that episode of Fairly Odd Parents was my childhood. Ah, uh, yes. Uh... Danny Phantom. How did you get back in your exoskeleton? My life as a teenage robot. I never have to worry about breaking out. And Cat Scratch. The party awaits. Plus so, 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 so much more. <laughs> it's Nick Picks Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Available now on DVD. Ooh. And be on the lookout for more Nick Picks DVDs to add to your collection. Coming soon. Cool. <sighs> Oh, and this and this next one, I could name all of them from the top of my head because after seeing this so many times, I can memorize them. It's here. It's yellow, and it's expanding. Woo-hoo! It's the ever-increasing SpongeBob SquarePants DVD collection. I love this show. Over twenty DVDs make up this collectible, hysterical, and most haveable collection. I gotta have more. And at the helm of hilarity, there's SpongeBob Seasons 1, 2, and 3 box sets, each with three discs and packed with special features. So why start small when you can collect them all? Because once you own Yellow, you want all of that fellow. The, the collection includes... Collection includes... 
Sponge Buddies, Nautical Onsen, SpongeBob Halloween, Sea Stories, Tales for the Deep, Lost at Sea, Tide and Seek, SpongeBob Christmas, SpongeBob Season 1 DVD about set, The Seascape Capers, Home Sweet Pineapples, What Goes Prehistoric, Sponge Guard on Duty, SpongeBob Season 2 DVD about set, Sponge for Hire, SpongeBob for Hire, which I have. The famous scary Lost in Time and Good Story. It's the complete SpongeBob SquarePants collection. Available now. Oh, wait, which one? Which one yeah, yeah. SpongeBob for Hire. Oh. And, oh wait, and which one? It's the complete SpongeBob SquarePants collection, available now on DVD. And be on the lookout for more Spongetacular SpongeBob DVDs coming soon. Oh yeah, for me, yeah, I used to have absorbing favorites. There comes a time in every journey when you realize there's no turning back. Avatar. For the first time ever, Avatar is available on DVD. 12-year-old Aang, the last airbender, must journey to the North Pole, battle the fire arms, unite the four nations, his to save the world. That's why I'm so excited. Join Aang, Sokka, Katara, and of course Momo on their epic quest. The Avatar's job to protect nature, but I don't know how to do my job. That's why we're going to the North Pole. To find you a teacher. The Avatar DVD collection comes with in-depth special features and a limited edition Avatar trading card in each DVD. Avatar, Airbender, collect the entire series on DVD. Be on the lookout for more action-packed Avatar DVDs coming soon. I'm going home well, for so many things. The ghosts, the witches, and the mist. Uh, wait, let me, let me do that again. The ghosts, the witches, and the mysteries are back. And so is the world's greatest and hungriest gang that solves them. Now, collect all of these awesome Scooby-Doo adventures on DVD. Get ready for a close encounter of the Scooby kind with Scooby-Doo and the alien invaders. The aliens are here to take over the world. And snack on the first five Scooby-Doo episodes ever, including the series pilot in Scooby-Doo's original mystery. This is Spooksville. Yeah, Spooksville. Then join the gang as they unravel a bewitching case of ghostly deeds in Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. And, fasten and every time and when that witch flew through the screen, I always use that nightmare back then. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> It's Scooby that, you, like in Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost with this one when that witch flies through the flies through that the camera. I always use that freaking nightmare. I bet she probably probably was to every young viewer when they first saw this. Uncover some swashbuckling spooks and, and, in Scooby Doo I mean, just, on just, Zombie just, Island. Zombies. Uh, never mind. It's Scooby Doo's spookiest tales with the absolute kookiest creeps. Ghosts, bats, and of course, scaredy cats. Catch the fun as the gang goes digital to track down a monster computer virus in a techno world of danger. Stop that dog. And still, I was shocked to know that the computer virus, the phantom virus, was caused by a black dude. I know, and... To me, every time we watch this, I think that he should have been voiced by Mark Hamill because of his voice. A look yeah. behind the scenes, music videos, trivia games. But he still did pretty good. Much yeah. more. Is this great stuff or what? Scooby Doo, collect them all on DVD yes. from Warner Brothers Family Entertainment. <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> Special mention that I first saw this on the DVD of Tom and Jerry the movie. Let's see. Even though that there is a copyrighted but still cool episode by the band Cool Play, <laughs> Clocks. Just gotta be careful. <laughs> What if you could escape to a faraway world without parents? Forget them, Ricky. Forget them all. Come away to Neverland. Without any rules. Without anyone telling you what to do. Come with me. We'll never, never have to worry.
worry about grown up things again. Never. It's an awfully long time. And then they, yeah, they smile and they fly off. And then the most awesome scene up until, uh oh. Captain, the ice is melting. The sun is out. The flowers are all in bloom. He's back. And then when I actually did, the movie turned out to be pretty all right. Cool. As of course, it's all thanks to the movie Hook with Rowan Williams. Is how I got introduced to um, uh, Peter Pan. Oh, nice. Once upon a time, there was a handsome prince who set out on a quest to rescue a fair princess. For it was his destiny to climb to the highest room of the tallest tower. Pull back the gossamer curtains to find her. What? Princess Fiona? She's on her honeymoon. I wonder how the heck he got into that tower because that bridge was destroyed in a process. So how could he manage to do that? Teleportation. Well, this is it. This is it. Can show off her new husband. <laughs> okay, maybe it might have been Shrek. Like, it might have been Shrek to. I mean, even though I saw this, yeah, like Peter Pan, Shrek 2, and some Dr. Seuss DVDs, it was all from the Cat in the Hat. So I'm pretty sure it was either that or the Country Bears, but I'm going to. A monster! <laughs> An ogre from a swamp. Well, I suppose that will be a fine place to raise the children. <laughs> and out comes the spoon. You'll be thinking about that, isn't it? Indeed. I just, I just started eating. Okay, I mean, do whatever you can. Like, if you want to join in or something. Nice to have the family together for dinner. DreamWorks Pictures presents. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for the ugly stepsister. Ah, old friends. Shrek and Dunky on. And I'm sorry. Um, what, what did you say again? Wait, what did I say? Like, I, it was, we got up into the part where Harold and Shrek were coughing their hearts out. Oh yeah, I said, "Out comes the spoon." Oh. <laughs> Another whirlwind adventure. Whoa. And a few surprises. Pray for mercy from Puss. Puss and Boots. If you dare. I'm sorry, the position of annoying talking animal has already been taken. They're coming soon to a theater near you. This is taking forever. Well, find a way to entertain yourself. <laughs> Are we there yet? Yes. <laughs> oh man, that scene never gets old. Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, uh, remember the scene from Rio where on there on that trolley and um, they're trying to figure out a way for uh, Blue to get it on with Jules, and then Petro comes out like uh, doing his a uh, little dance. Um. Oh yes, right. I mean. And, <laughs> Right, I, I do remember like he was singing a song up until Nico sang that other song, which was uh, extremely romantic. It was going until the high version. Yeah, because uh, right on uh, Rose Petals, like, yeah, and yeah, it just didn't go well. 
But man, that thing cracked me up. Kick it, kick it, girl, kick it, kick it, girl. Should take a ticket to the floor. Show it, show it how you roll. Drop, 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 drop it low. Drop, 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 drop it low. Almost definitely. As we near the millennium, the tools. Oh, I remember this fondly. You do? Yes. Paramount Pictures is proud to present the latest technological Wait. achievement in film animation. The top animation minds from around the world have collaborated with the top foreign animators from Japan with a budget of over six million Wait a minute. Million okay, dollars. I was thinking of something else. My bad. Wow. Forgot to even read ever seen by the <laughs> My bad, dude. I was thinking of um when I was showing that TV and uh like um and then it pans over and it shows like the Rugrats uh, riding that Reptar car. Oh. Who the hell are you people? And I finally managed to find the right one when I was watching, when I used to watch the VHS of Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Hmm. Right one. Come in, Mom. Okay, this is taking. What's it? I mean, like, if you just say that you're home and like that, why, why don't why don't you just do do something? Coming soon to theaters. Oh, right. Mm. No, no, I can't. I can't do that. They just see they dance, they dance, but but stitch on peaks on them from. A <laughs> I'll be in my room. Get your own movie. His name is Stitch. Oh great, he's loose. And he's coming to our galaxy next summer. Disney's Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> coming only to theaters. Coming soon Wait, to own so on video and DVD. Jesus Christ, there was lots of things that were just way out of... Premiering portion. only on Disney DVD and video, Roly Poly Oly, the great defender of fun. Someone has stolen Zoe's birthday. <laughs> now, oh, save you? it's up to one daring robot. Don't worry, Zoe. To save the celebration. It's Space Boy Oli to the rescue. And bring fun back to the cosmos forever. Yay! Playhouse Disney's Roly Poly Oli, the great defender of fun. His first all new full length adventure. Yeah! Premiering only on Disney DVD and video, summer 2002. On Disney DVD for the first time ever. Pooh's Halloween Collection. Winnie the Pooh, Franken Pooh, and Spookaboo Pooh. My favorite. It's two Halloween classics. Sure looks like fun. Both on one fun filled DVD with extra tricks and treats. Well, shall I go on? Let's get busy and find some fun. Including a game and a sing along song. I want to scare myself and everyone else. Affiliate Chillion. 
It's the ultimate Pooh Halloween experience for your family. And it's all on one gigantic DVD. Quadruply as big. Bring home Pooh's Halloween collection. Winnie the Pooh, Franken-Pooh, and Spookable Pooh. Two videos on one DVD coming August 2002. Now that's what I call a night to remember. For the first time ever, on DVD and video, all the Disney villains are together. And they're taking over the House of Mouse in Mickey's House of Villains. Aw, oh, no! Inside this evil joint, every guest gets to the point. This day will live in infamy. infamy. The House of Mouse is history! <laughs> Mickey's House of Villains, a full-length movie new to Disney DVD and video. Do I get a little help here? This fall. But on the DVD of Schoolhouse Rock, it was Tuesday, September 3rd. All right, well, that's all the time that we have. And even though this has been a good part one, we'll pick it up eventually sometime, maybe, who knows. But let's just see how much limit I have.